Hello, my crafty friends. This is Michelle, the Southern Shell, and I am here with another Talk It Out Tuesday. And I have a couple things that I have started on, and I believe they're just all in my journal here that I had created. If you remember, I was doing the Write the Word journal, and I have started doing some decor on it with some little micro crochets and some pockets. This here is actually held close by a magnet. And so we have pockets in here so I can put little pieces or I can write little notes down. But I wanted this to be something that I can just keep stuff in and still go to my little signature and take it from there. Got some water dripped on that, but that's okay. So in the write the word, it has my scripture and then I write it down and how can I apply that to my life? How can I live that scripture out? So this particular one was, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you and that's Psalms 56, three. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. And that would be a wonderful one to actually put to memorization. And it's small enough where it's not gonna take too awful long to do it. And it's one to actually have in the back of your mind because it is something that is going to come up because we do get fears thrown at us and it can be fears for all sorts of different things. Our testimony is going to go out there to others and how we react to what has happened to us, people will watch. That is going to make just a huge impact on Christians and non-Christians alike. So we need to plant the word in our heart so when situations come up again or we get reminded we can pop in and put a scripture out there and just know, Lord, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalms 56, three. I don't have to live in fear. God didn't make us to live in fear. We're not designed to live in fear. So we need to make sure that we can have these scriptures in here and know that it's in the Bible, we, it's scriptural, and I'm giving it, I'm giving it, and I'm trusting the Lord with it. Remind myself, I, I need to remind myself that fear is nothing but a lie. False information being fed to us by the enemy. We, we have to hand our fear to God, and we need to handle it for what it is. We need to know what it is and we need to give it to God and just know what it is as we're doing this. Now, this next one. Now, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Faith is knowing it. Even though we don't see it, we know it. It's there. So in the New King James, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And when you look up the word, um, in the Greek or Hebrew, it means confidence, assurance, um, substance, reality in it. This is telling us that faith is the most important um, of the most practi practical aspects of all hoped for regarding God's future and his promises. In addition, the um, the coloring of confidence and assurance and personal conviction are in play. Virtually making faith the present tense of what it is hoped for. The present tense. Faith is in the 
present. It's an idea of confidence. It is the final use. It refers to Christ as being the exact expression of reality, God the Father's nature. So when you look at the, when you go deep into the meaning of these words, it's the exact expression of the reality of God, the Father's nature. For um, the idea of confidence to the final use, it refers to Christ being the exact expression of the reality of God, the Father's nature. So it's like if you look in the mirror and you can see the nature of yourself instead of that image of you, instead of the the worldly image or the physical being of you hitting you back, looking back at you, you can actually see the nature of God in him. And we are to we are to be that that's that same thing. We are to be reflecting God out there for the world. And we can't do it if we're in fear. We can't do it. And faith, we need to step out in faith and be sure of what we've hoped for and certain of what we cannot see. We don't, as, as Jesus said, we don't see the wind. We know it's there because we can feel it. We can feel it on us. Um, so as we step out and I can feel God's presence on me, I can feel his spirit on me and pressing me to move forward. I can't see it, but I know it's there. Substance, hypostasis, confidence, assurance, the substance reality in. This is telling us that faith is the most important of the most practical aspect of all that is hoped for regarding God's future promises. Virtually making faith the present tense of reality. It's what we have hoped for in the future. Three of the other uses of the New Testament uses for this word is to reflect the predominant idea of confidence. The final use refers Christ as, as being the exact ex expression of the reality of God, the Father's nature, the exact expression. So when we look at Christ, we see God. Are you that in somebody else's life? When people look at you, do they see God? That's what we are called to do. Faith is being sure of what we've hoped for and certain of what we do not see. I can hope for peace, love, understanding, because I know I'm getting that from Jesus. I can be certain of what I do not see. I know he's giving it to me. He's promised it to me. It's there. These verses can get very deep if you're willing to dig in and find out what the words actually mean in the Greek and Hebrew. And so this doesn't have to be just a daily, I'm going to write down this and I'm going to memorize the scripture. What about what the scripture means? how you should interpret it because anybody can read this scripture. Now the faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Okay. What should that mean to me? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. So being sure of is also the substance of what we hope for. It's deep. It's in there. Substance meaning confidence. Substance meaning assurance. S substance meaning 
reality in. We're relying on it. It's telling us that faith is the most important practical aspect. We need to actually give it. We need to believe in it. Faith is substance. It's, it's, it's something that we can hold on to and know it's going to be, the, be there. The confidence, the uh, re reality, the, the importance, the assurance, it's just going to be there. He knows it's, it's the idea of confidence. It reassures us that Christ has the exact expression of God our Father. What I'm going to be doing in this particular journal is I will take the scriptures. I will take them and I will dig into my, my Bible more. And I will go in and find out what exactly was being said implanted into us what does the lord want us to get out of this and that is important to me because when i'm afraid i put my trust in you psalms 56 what does the lord want me to get out of this you know for us we should look at this and say well that's an easy one he wants me to trust in him he wants me to trust in him and not the fear not what is causing the fear but when you start looking at scripture in the context of the language and where it's come from, sometimes it's not quite the same. And so that's what, you know, now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. So it's actually, it's the substance of it. It is meaningful it is something substantial faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen so to me substance is a very important word here being sure of and substance to look at this and let's bring up the amplified I'm going to bring up the Amplified Classic because that's before things got a little muddied, so to say. So it says, now faith is the assurance, which is the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see. And the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as real fact and not revealed to the senses. It's not something you can feel on your skin or smell. It's not revealed to the senses, but it is perceiving to us as a fact. Not something that's going to blow away in the wind. So I think that sometimes it may take a couple different versions, looking up the the words in the Greek or the Hebrew, going and digging a little bit deeper for that to say, okay, yes, that hits me a little bit different. Now faith is being sure of. It is being the substance. It is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed. You've been handed the title deed to your car or your home. God is assuring us of the things we hoped for we're getting that deed and proof of the things that we do not see and the conviction of the reality the fact that it's not revealed to other senses but it's a fact that God has given them to us this is so much deeper than one scripture we need to remember that faith is substance. It's confirmation. It is assurance. It's confidence. It, there's so much that we can replace that with. And it still have the same meaning 
that it meant in the beginning. So we can pop in those words and have it speak to us easier on our hearts or our minds. If you're interested in following as I go through some of these, um, it will be my next Talk It Out Tuesdays. It's going to be a little heavier on my side for just one scripture. <laughs> and that's okay because scripture is meant to be dove into. I can read the Bible through the year and I can read it. I know for me, it's not just going to jump off the page and dive in my mind. I need to understand the scripture. I need to know where that scripture is taking me. I'm not saying it's not good to read through the Bible in a year. Many people do. I've done it. But I know for me, I also have to have more than that. I need to understand and learn and comprehend what I'm seeing and reading so God can sink it into me that it may come out at a later date when it's needed. It has to be in there. So, If you're interested, I will be here on Tuesdays. You can give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, you can consider doing so now by hitting that subscribe button. If you'd like to know when another video has gone live, you can hit that bell notification. YouTube should notify you when my next video has been uploaded and gone live. As always, my friends, stay safe. God bless. Bye for now.